Thank you everyone for attending uh, today's uh, press conference. My name is Chief Thomas Kang with the Guardian Police Department. I'm here today deeply saddened today as we announce the death of a Guardian Police Officer, Toshio Harai. He's been a police officer with the Guardian Police Department for approximately 12 years. He's 34 years of age and he's a devoted father, family man, and he has a two-year-old son. Yesterday, Officer Harai was on his police motorcycle traveling on Western Avenue at 238th Street in the city of LA, and he was involved in a car accident, at which time he sustained critical injuries. Officers responded out to the location conducted uh, immediate CPR and he was transported to Harbor General Hospital as we are today. A number of outstanding doctors has helped us throughout this tragic time for the Guardian Police Department. And I want to thank all the doctors, all the staff, LA County Sheriff's, LAPD for helping us during this critical time and accommodating us, us as we grieve this serious moment. Officer Toshio Harai started working for the Guardian Police Department in 2006. Besides being a motor officer, he was also our traffic investigator. And also he was on our SWAT team. He was one of our lead SWAT members, which is a scout. And Officer Harai has an abundance of knowledge. And I think he's one of the smartest individuals I've met. He speaks five different languages has a heck of a great humor and he's an officer that would go out of his way to help anyone. He's, he's a mentor to a lot of our officers and we're truly going to miss Officer Harai. Officer Toshio Harai grew up in Gardena. He attended Gardena Buddhist Church. He attended Gardena's Japanese Cultural Institute where he learned Judo. He was a black belt in Judo. He had a master's degree in emergency services. And Officer Harai has a passion for love of life and it's hard for me to imagine as the Chief of Police, as a member of the Guardian of Police Department, not having Officer Harai here today. He's a valued member. We loved him. He loved the community of Gardena. He had a passion for his job. And we will be at a serious loss. Tomorrow, we do plan on having a vigil for Officer Harai in front of the Gardena Police Department. For those that would like to offer condolences, flowers, uh, we do have a location set for that. And also, we did set up a GoFundMe page for his family. He... So thank you everyone for coming to today's conference. If you have any questions, and I will take any questions you have. Do you have any more details on the crash itself? I, I can't Do you have any more details on the crash itself, what happened, how? Today's uh, meeting is about Officer Harai. The uh, traffic collision is actually handled by the Los Angeles Police Department, and for any further information, they will conduct an independent investigation. So he was really young and, and had been on the force for a long time. That means he, he was really young when he started. This was yes. Most, much of his life. Yes. He started off very young. I did know Officer Harai before he became a police officer. He did come to me and ask me what, what it was going to take to get hired, and and at the time I was a canine handler and he told me he had a passion for being a canine handler and approximately a month ago I did have a sit down with Officer Harai and we talked about you know what he wanted to do for the next 10 years and one of the things is he wanted to continue help training developing mentoring people on our department also he had a passion and for training and also bring our SWAT team to a greater level that he thought that could improve and also in the end towards the end of his career or he told me he expressed to me that he would like to promote 
and be a part of the leadership because he did have a lot of great strong leadership qualities and like I said before he uh, is a very intelligent individual. So you think he would have been successful in a higher in a higher role within the department? Yes, yes, he would be successful. I did see he that that potential in him, um, and just by his mere action, his passion for police work and people, oh, and his love of the community, he he he. Amp I guess he uh, amplifies everything about the Gardena Police Department. We're very unified and we love our community, we love uh, serving and protecting, and that's, that was Toshio Harai. Sir, if you could talk about, obviously you still have to protect and serve, do your, men and women have to do their job, but if you could talk about that and how difficult it is, because you really lost some of those very dear to the department in your, your close-knit family. As a police chief, I've been, I've started with the Guardian Police Department at a very young age as a police explorer moved up, and I thought I would never have to do this as a police chief. It is very difficult, oh, and it's, it is very heartbreaking. I shed a lot of tears today as if Toshio was my own son, and it's, you know, devastating for me, and we'll get through this as a police organization, but as an organization, it has brought us as a community closer, usually during these tough times, and I can't thank enough for all the surrounding agencies that's been nothing but supportive, along with everyone out here in your audience and uh, supporting us. So thank you very much. Are there any officers that worked with Officer Harai that can talk about what kind of police officer he was on the streets every day, day to day? There's some officers here today, and, and it's up to them if they would like to uh, talk, talk about Harai, but at, at our vigil, oh, we want to express that at our vigil, possibly a schedule for tomorrow. Oh, and we'll put more information about our vigil on our social media, Facebook, Gardena Police. And also it'll be on my Facebook page, Thomas Kang, Chief of Police. And, uh, and we'll be able to answer even more questions then. So if there's no more questions, thank you everyone for attending and thank you for the community, whether it's Gardena or, or all of LA County. Thank you for your continuous support during this tough time for the city of Gardena and the Gardena Police Department. Thank you.